1794, Fourier was granted an opportunity to further his studies at the newly founded École Normale Supérieure in Paris. Whilst there, he was able to interact with great mathematicians like Lagrange, Monge and Laplace. His superior ability in mathematics was highly evident amongst the other students. After completing his studies, Fourier took up teaching at the Collège de France. Through the relationship he had cultivated with his lecturers, Fourier was able to further his mathematical career and took up a position at the École Centrale des Travaux. Unfortunately, he was arrested again over a protest speech at Orléans, but was freed during Napoleon's reign. He returned to the École Centrale des Travaux, which had been renamed the École Polytechnique, where he succeeded Lagrange in being appointed to the Chair of Analysis and Mechanics in 1797. Throughout his teaching career, he was known to be an outstanding lecturer and a gifted orator. Two years later, he joined Napoleon's army, together with other scientists. It was during the invasion of Egypt where Fourier took the role of scientific advisor. Their expedition in Egypt was, at first, a great success. They were able to take Alexandria, Malta, the Nile Delta. However, the French fleet was later destroyed, trapping them in Egypt. During this time, Fourier organized workshops for Napoleon's army. In addition, he worked as an administrator in the French political institutions that were being established, mainly involved in archaeological explorations. Fourier was also involved in the establishment of the Cairo Institute, specifically working in the Mathematics Division, together with Napoleon, Mons and Malou. Fourier was appointed as secretary of the Institute. He continued to hold this post for the entire time the French occupied Egypt. In addition, he was responsible for collecting and arranging all the scientific and literary discoveries that were being made during their stay. Moreover, he had a duty of publishing large volumes of papers which were being collected in Egypt, later named the Description de l'Egypte. To this, he added a detailed historical text on the ancient Egyptian civilization. All this time, he continued with his research into mathematics. Napoleon went back to France, abandoning his army in the year 1799. Fourier followed on two years later, together with the remainder of Napoleon's expeditionary force. He then resumed his post as Professor of Analysis in the École Polytechnique. Napoleon, however, had other ideas for Fourier's career and appointed him Prefect of the Department of Isère after the previous Prefect had died. Fourier was unhappy with this appointment as he wanted to engage in scientific research but was unable to decline Napoleon. Therefore, he went to Grenoble, where he executed many and varied duties. This made his life very busy, for he was required to carry out several large projects in addition to all the daily problems of the department. The previous prefect, it seems, had not left the department of Isère in very good condition. During his administrations, Fourier made two great achievements. One was the supervision of the construction of a new highway, which was to run from Grenoble to Turin. The second was the draining of the swamps of Bourgoin, which required much of his attention, as there were many disagreements between the farmers and the nobility. This required him to visit all sides to seek their cooperation. Additionally, he used a great deal of his time in working on his Description de l'Egypte, as the prefect of Isère, he held the responsibilities of a public figure. He was the one who organized the visits of Pope Pius VII and the King of Spain to the region. During this time, he was under pressure to compile the results of the research work he had undertaken during the Egyptian campaign. This became too much for Fourier, and he asked for leave to enable him to complete the work. Upon completion of his Description de l'Egypte in 1809, he was decorated as a baron, which at least meant he received a better wage.
Thank you.